In this video, you will review a smoke detector layout, open the smoke detector in the family editor, create new subcategories, create guides for position and range of smoke detectors, and use position and range guides to assess the existing smoke detector layout. Editing existing families is a common task when using Revit, and it can be very useful to understand techniques that will get more out of your content and improve workflows. In this project, we will review an existing smoke detector layout, then to check that adequate spacing and covering has been achieved, we will edit the smoke detector family to add visual guides. The modified family will then be used to determine if any alterations to the smoke detector layout are required. In this example, we'll also review techniques for hiding the visual guides when no longer required. Begin by opening the Revit project file E04 underscore 01. Ensure the current view is Smoke Detection Ceiling Plans 1 Smoke Detection. This view shows a range of smoke detectors with no indication of adherence to required positioning or if the proximity to other smoke detectors is within accepted limits. Let's start by opening the smoke detector in the family editor. From the project browser, open the view ceiling plans reference level and change the scale to one eighth of an inch. Our smoke detector wants to be no further than 21 feet from any one point in the building and a maximum of 30 feet from other smoke detectors while ensuring adequate coverage. So adding these specifications as a visual guide in the family will help us when positioning the smoke detector in the project. Parameters can be utilized to control the visibility of these guides when the family is in use, but in this instance, we will look at using subcategories. From the Manage tab, select Object Styles on the Settings panel. Then create one new subcategory called Range and one called Position. Then set the line color to red for Range and the line pattern to Hidden. Set the line color to black for position and set the line type to hidden. From the annotate tab, select the symbolic line command. Then pick circle from the draw tools. Change the subcategory to range and draw a circle from the center of the smoke detector. Finally, add a diameter dimension and set the size to 42 feet. For most applications, our smoke detectors will need to be no more than 30 feet away from each other. Create two horizontal and two vertical reference planes in this view. Then, Use the Align Dimension command to create two dimensions as shown. Once complete, select each dimension and apply the equality constraint. Finally, add an overall horizontal and vertical dimension across the outer reference planes. and set the values for both to 30 feet, and then lock both. It may be necessary to stretch the length of the reference planes to the new proportions of the view. To create the positional geometry, select the symbolic line command, and from the draw tools, select rectangle. From the subcategory list, select position, Draw a rectangle across the reference planes and then lock it by selecting the four lock icons. 
Our guides are now complete and the family ready to load into the project. Overwrite the existing version and the smoke detector layout can now be assessed for position and coverage and any changes made as necessary. Here it can be seen the original layout as the smoke detectors placed further apart than the specified 30 feet and that by moving them closer together and towards the centre will provide a more effective layout. Finally, when the layout is complete the range and position guides can be hidden. As these were created using subcategories, enter the visibility graphics for this view and expand the category of fire alarm devices, where you will see the two new subcategories. Deselect both and close the visibility graphics window. Using reference planes, simple geometry and dimensions to create features such as visual guides in your content can improve productivity and allow for easy checking of adherence to industry standards. The use of subcategories to control visibility provides enhanced options in your view templates, allowing you to manage the appearance of views in your project more effectively.